I purchased two of these. I'm really curious to see if it'll work. Uh, this is a mount that you use in your car. It was $20 for two or uh, $10 each, depending on how you look at it. I should have opened it up the other way just to... Uh... So I'm looking forward to it working. I really would like to. Now, what's nice about this is that right now I'm using uh, mounts that go on vents. And the problem with the vents, it, I, to me, it, I think it weakens the vents. Two, it just doesn't clip on right, so I literally use um, wire ties to hold it in place. But I'm hoping that this will work much better at mounting my phone. One of the nice things is that you can use it in portrait and landscape mode, which is what I'm looking for. Uh, it's green. I think it's green and black, saying the color there. Pretty cool. I have purchased, I don't even know how many of these type of devices for your car. Because um, everybody uses their GPS now. Back in the day, I used to have an actual GPS. Very expensive. Wow, cost me, I don't even know. $500,000 for this outrageous the prices. And they just didn't work well. This is before, way before phones. I'm talking about the 90s. And they were very, very expensive. Now with your phone, it does kind of everything, which is pretty cool. This is the mount. Let me get my phone and see how it looks. This is my iPhone 12 Pro Max. I have a weird case on it. This is uh, the pair. It's a play on iCarly. My daughter and I watch iCarly. It's nicely. Nice grip. A little rubber here. A little rubber here. Pretty cool. I hope it stays stable. I did try one of these. I did a video on one of these one time that mounted on the rear view mirror. The actual rear view mirror. So the problem with that was that it actually mounted to the rear view mirror. And the rear view mirror, when you hit bumps, used to move. So when I tried it, the foam was all over the place. It even fell out, it fell once. So that was the problem. What's nice about this is this, you mount this onto the actual uh, piece that is connected to the window, which is much more stable even than bumps. The whole, you know, the whole car has to rattle for uh, this to come loose. So that's a nice feature. You, know, you can put this on a pole or anything. So let's do a close up look. Very plasticky, doesn't feel like it's made very well, very, very plasticky. Okay, I have to press the button, I didn't even know that. So this is how you use it, cool. You move it, this is to move it around, put it further back. I, I'm, I think I'm gonna really like this thing. And I hope it holds up. It doesn't feel like very good plastic, it kind of feels cheap, but I'm hoping it to hold up to using it. Uh, how do you take this out? It doesn't come out. Uh, let me make it straight. Does this come out? No, I guess not. Let me see. Okay. Uh, no, this doesn't come apart. I guess I'll find out what this is for. Oh, I guess this is maybe to tie in. Oh, to tie in the actual. Okay, it's used to tie in the mounting to the connection. So I put my finger there, an example, and oh, it's like a claw. So now it's stuck on there. All right. So that's what this is for. Rubbery, rubbery, doesn't, shouldn't leave any scratches. Very light, very, very light. I mean, it might be this type of plastic so that it doesn't put much weight and the only weight on the actual rear view mirror because you don't want that coming off your car either. So that could be an issue if it unglues from your windshield itself. You don't want that at all. So. And you 
press these buttons and move this around. So you're supposed to be able to move it forward and back and 360 degrees. So if you want to show your passenger something, boom, you just turn it. Pretty cool. Center it. Just turns easily. And no issues whatsoever. Nice. Let me put it in here. Put this in first. Okay, then you clip this in. And you put this. Cool, nice. Not bad at all. Pretty cool. Turn it around all you want. And let me show you the device in the car. Pretty cool. I like it a lot. Let me measure the, I mean, weigh the actual device itself. The whole device. I'll try to get it on here. Okay. Not too heavy. Not in comparison to the phone. So this is the actual whole device put together. And if I try the phone, this one, it's a lot heavier. So it's not too heavy. Let me measure the longest you could put it, just in case you're curious. Some people are, I know a lot of some people tell me why do I do this sometimes, but because some people actually like the measurements. And that's why I do it. Um, it's about that long. As straight as I could make it. Yeah, uh, let me try a little more. Okay, that looks pretty straight now. So, yeah, about eight inches long. So you can see how far. And then... I guess depending on, because I'm probably going to end up putting it back away from me. I don't want it right in my face. So, uh, oh, that's not good. Let me see. So it would be like this. Back. And then, no. I guess it would like that. And then, like so. then like that. I'm not tighten it here. Pretty cool. And this tightens again, just in case you're curious. Let's see how far. It goes all the way. It closes all the way. If you want. I don't know who has a uh, rear view mirror mount that thin. Alright, let's go to the car and see how it looks. So before we go to the car, interesting. So I'm loosening it up and yeah, you can pop, you can move it around pretty easy. And then put it to where you want it. And then you can start tightening it. Cool. I almost forgot to measure the actual opening for the phone itself. So it's uh, almost two and a half. Why? How wide can it go? About four, four inches wide. You can open. Not sure. It's uh, south here. Let me uh, show you. A little over an inch in that thickness, and then the actual thickness of the area, a half an inch, a half an inch that way. And half an inch that way. All right. Again, I'm sorry. Let's go to the car. Now. So my wife's gonna help me. She's gonna mount it. This is the. This is just pretty simple. Like I said, I can just bring it with me anywhere I go, which will be really, really nice. Um, can you get it more? In the, yeah, right there. 
So I mounted it on there. Seems pretty stable. I'm going to drive with it and let you know. I, I mean, I don't like the little wobbliness that it has. I was hoping for more stiffness, but we'll try it out first. And I have it set up exactly like this. Let me put my phone in it so I could actually show it to you. I'm going to drive with it see how well it works the nice thing like i said you can just turn it it's 360 degree turn passenger middle towards me i can do it in any directions a lot of what do you call that flexibility uh, flexibility articulation, articulation. Mm -hmm. uh, it's pretty cool you can do a lot of stuff with it uh, i like it so let me see how well it works and how stable it stays that's my biggest thing too stability let me drive with it and i'll let you know when at the end of the day or at the end of my trip yay or nay on it after driving it with it for a short while it does shake a little bit as you drive but it's not bad it's definitely not as bad as the other one that i had so after discussing it with my wife i we're gonna keep it we're gonna keep it because we can use it pretty much in any car it's a great idea great mount and hopefully it will hold up and there should be no issues it's far enough back i was worried that it was going to be too close to my face but it's actually not it's not right what do you think honey no, i think it's perfect yeah so it's, it's behind the rear view mirror it's behind the rear view mirror so you know it's not that it's not that bad it actually uh pretty good and actually if uh you're showing something while you're parked because don't do this while you're driving and you're watching a video you can all watch the video together because now it's closer to the people in the back right mm -hmm. and also when i use my um, gps i use that for um and you can do it in portrait uh, and also you can do it in portrait mode so you just spin it it's 360 degrees around and you can spin it at any direction you want so you, my wife uses the map like this, right? Yeah, but it's also easier for me to see. It's about a, a oh, it's not that far away from you. Closer. So you actually like it because it's actually closer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was afraid it was going to be too close. My wife likes it because it's closer. It is closer than this itself. So uh, I guess you'll get two different types of people. I like it. I really, really like. It. I think it's pretty cool. It uh, sits nicely. on the car mount it, and it works well it doesn't shake too much i like it thumbs up i'm keeping it honey yes double thumbs up okay i hope you like the video i hope the video helps thank you for watching bye Thank you.